YouTube, your boy's back. It's been a while. He's balding. It's going to be fine. All right. I'm back. The setup's a little different. This camera right here they're used to record on doesn't work for some reason. So we're using the stream cam. If you guys don't know, I stream on Twitch as much as I can. Um, I'll put the link somewhere. You'll be able to find it. Um, but yeah, I'm back. I'm excited. God, I'm balding. That's crazy. Anyways, got another whiskey for you. I know it's been a while. Um, been going through some things and uh, trying to figure out if I still wanted to do this or not. And uh, I finally found uh, a batch of whiskeys I, I do enjoy. Didn't want to bring you guys absolute dog shit. So, I do bring you guys another great whiskey. As I always say, I will never give you something I don't like that I wouldn't buy and waste my hard-earned money on. Because we know we go to work for hours and hours a day. And we don't want to waste our money on garbage. So, Let's get right into this whiskey. Before I bring the whiskey in, I want to give you guys a little backstory on this whiskey. Two friends, two homies, two buddies made this uh, made this whiskey possible. They had a dream about starting their own distillery. They did it. They got a little farm, a little mom and pop, uh, not a little mom and pop farm, but a mom and pop farm. Um, they uh, got them to get all the things they needed. They reached out. They hit them up. They have a place you can visit. They're out of Washington, Woodville, Woodenville, Woodenville, Washington. I think I said that right. But yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful bottle, which I'm going to show you right now. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. But still, we want to emphasize the fact that they took a risk. I don't I don't know the backstory. I don't know if these dudes did anything. But them taking a risk on a very, 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 very hard business to get into, it's pretty sick. So, hey, shoot or shoot. Okay? That's sick. That's awesome. All right. This is the bottle right here. I did this little thing by accident the other day i was drinking it as you can see had it on my uh birthday celebration i guess you can say look at this sick logo they have really really cool basic that little old school looking farm in there awesome this is cool i like when they etch the the uh where it's made in it on the side the really cool uh just kind of easy to hold basic bottle like i know it's ba it, that's not basic but it's just it's easy it makes you want to drink it makes you want to hold it i want to pour everybody a shot and everything my favorite is the cool cork on top that's really cool little details like that really win me over um because most of the time i really do just grab the bottle i don't really i don't really do much else i don't do any really research i kind of find try to find whiskeys that are coming out but that's about it another little cool Woodenville. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, but that's that's really cool. I'm not doing it any justice. It's new. Um, they're very honest about how they started. Uh, they started uh, in 2010, just like the bottle says. Probably a little bit before that. You know, they gotta get licenses and all that stuff. But yeah, it's just two dudes that did it, man. It's it's awesome. They built their own thing, and I was on their website earlier. I actually, have it up right now. But it looks they have a tasting room you can go and visit. Looks awesome. I mean, they have awards. It was like I think it was craft whiskey of the year rye whiskey of the year or something by some liquid whatever liquor journal whatever again i don't look into that stuff i that's what i think and what i want to bring to you guys so got my thing i know it's not one of those cool glasses that hold the aroma on the bottom i get that whatever i know i'm sorry but you know what i want i want this beautiful mm. cork smells great this cork is really cool it looks like they actually like i don't know if it takes a lot to make a cork that looks as cool but the way it just looks it's just it fits perfect doesn't feel like it's gonna pop off i know you guys have had a whiskey where you guys pull it off and it breaks or after a little while it breaks because i'd have my whiskeys for a while yeah so oh man it smells great um it's all it's all yeah it's bottled and yeah it's bottled in wood yeah it's all it's all in woodenville washington that's crazy nothing changes it's all in their area they got a little backstory i know i've probably shouldn't do this while it's open a little backstory of what they are on the back it's, this is great it smells awesome beautiful color ah, man sweet everybody knows it's a little a little smoky of course but um yeah it's uh the beautiful looking one look at that i got a lot of sun in my room so it just makes it look even better um i know i'm probably wrong on this but this is like i don't know if you look at whiskey sometimes it's a little like Feels a little, looks like a little thick. This one was nice and nice and clear and everything. It's a great sipper. Um, I do not, um, I do not miss my whiskey anymore as much as I can. If I get a Jack and Coke, obviously I try to get a crappy whiskey or well whiskey or whatever. But yeah, big sniff. It doesn't hurt the nostrils at all. Um, you get that little wood fire, obviously a little campfirey. Not too much, not as much as like a Stranahan's or anything like that. Not as harsh, but really good. You smell a little bit of vanilla. 
A um, little weedy, obviously, but here we go. Cheers to y'all. Clear. Super clear. Nice. A little spicy. It's a whiskey. It's really good. And the price is insane to me because this bottle was only, I think, $35 after taxes. This isn't going to be $35 for much longer because it is really, really good. A little spicy towards the end. It does stay there. It lets you know, hey, you're drinking whiskey. Don't forget. This is a, All right. Sorry about that. Dark started freaking out in the middle of the video. Didn't want you guys to have to hear that. But yeah, great taste, great flavor. This wooden bill is really good. Um, I'm looking up at the actual award it got. It got the San Francisco Spirit Award in 2020. So let's say this is, is exactly, let's, we're being exact, says established 2010. Again, I didn't do any research. I'm not looking into it. Um, that's 10 years. That's nothing. Like, that's that's no time. And then look, they got an award, and double gold, whatever the hell that means. And they have a rye, a rye too, which I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on. Um, 45 alcohol volume. That's crazy. And it's 90 proof. Yeah, it's established 2010. Yeah, pot distilled. Delicious. Nice and clean. It's not going to be $30 for a while, so double up maybe hold one in the back um see if you can flip it make some money just kidding make sure you drink it but yeah um again woodenville bourbon whiskey they got a rye they have a beautiful website you can go to them let's actually click on that real quick let's see where it's at uh in woodenville redmond road wherever the hell that is woodenville washington yeah tasting room distillery tours it's only 20 bucks and a ten dollar credit toward any spirit purchase that's crazy so if this is only thirty dollars over there you're it's a twenty dollar bottle that's crazy and i bet you if you go over there they have um uh, other little things that they're working on and stuff like that but again guys i'm back i'm gonna try to do this as much as i can um i appreciate everybody that is gonna come back and watch this um if you don't come back and watch this i know it's a shit show i appreciate it though thank you for watching the video i do um Again, I stream on Twitch, mostly Call of Duty. Um, I love whiskey. Um, I like cigars. This camera's broken. Fuck you, camera. Um, but yeah, um, let me know if you guys have any whiskeys you want me to try or any food spots you want me to go to. Um, I'll definitely like to do that. Again, it's your boy Kyle. Thank you for watching.